So I did a review on the Wien Pro Plus and I thought it'd be a good idea to do a review or walkthrough of Wien's own home app because how many reviews do you see that go through all the features and the product and the sound quality but they never actually mention the app when streamers are concerned? It's under featured on YouTube. So I thought this could be a good thing to do to help you to consider whether this is actually a product for you or not. These products don't tend to be that popular at price compared to some more expensive gear that I feature on my channel, but this is a product of the time and I'm giving it airtime because I'm not a snobby audiophile and obviously I want more people to get on the journey of what we're doing and I support that. Okay, so when you open the app, the first thing that confronts you is these four tabs at the bottom, browse, device, search, and settings. And starting on settings, at the very bottom, you'll see that you have Weems Forum. Now, forums are good places to go to to get immediate answers because there's a lot of kind of helpful or enthusiastic people on these forums that like answering questions and being a kind of advocate for the brand. So you can use that to your advantage to get quick information. If we click done at the top left and go out of this screen, you've got a tab for shop. So obviously you can go in and buy other products there. Cancel that at the bottom. The next one up from that is roadmap. So if you click on that and we click on Weem Pro, then this goes into this page on their website, which shows you what they're working on. I think this relates to the Pro and the Pro Plus because all under one tab. And I know from here, if you scroll down where it says multi-room of high-res audio, that that relates to an MQA pass-through feature that they're developing at the moment. In addition, this favorite section that they're gonna have as a new tab, I believe. Above that, you've got release notes. And again, if I click on Weem Pro Plus, click on touch on, same thing, <laughs> and scroll down, you'll see all these bug updates and firmware updates that are being brought in, and they're pretty consistent. If you look at the dates, you'll see how much work they're doing behind the scenes. You've got one in August, one in September, another one in September, October, and so on. And they're telling you, obviously, what bug fixes they're, they're sorting out, as well as what features are being incorporated. You've also got a tab here for feedback. So if I touch on that, gives you the ability to give them immediate feedback. Quite good that they're putting this in the app because they want you to tell them how this can be improved. So that's to be admired as well. Click on the top arrow there to go back. And we're back into tab for frequently asked questions. This is just a, a website type page, but also you can submit a ticket there at the bottom to ask questions of Weem directly. Again, press the top arrow there to go back. So on the setting screen, if we press the next tab along search, this takes us into Weem's universal search feature that will browse all the music services and stations that you're logged into. So you can search artists, songs, album, playlists, stations and shows. And obviously it depends upon what services you've got as to what music you can select. I don't think this works with UPMP, DLA content, NAS Drive music, because it's only for these types of streaming services, radio stations as well, per the manual on Weems website. I feature competitive products on YouTube, otherwise I don't review them. But if you want access to all my favorites and best products lists and less so good products, plus you like what I do, please consider supporting me and the long-term sustainability of 13th Note by signing up to Patreon at only five euros, dollars or pounds per month. And let's together build a Patreon community of fair talking audio files. Okay, so if we move from the search tab to the device tab at the bottom, you'll see the list of players that are on the network. I've got a Wii Mini and a Wii Pro Plus, as you can obviously see. And if I hit this link icon on the Wii Pro Plus, it takes me to this window that asks me to tick which one I want to pair, and obviously pair to the Mini. Hit that and then hit Done. 
it will then pair both of them together in I think what's called disco mode or party mode never get that quite right someone can probably tell me in the comments and I can adjust the volume by group volume or individually essentially this would be if you had like a party with lots of streamers working in different rooms and you want them to all play at the same time to unlink them I simply press the link icon at the top of the window again and then hit tick against the Wii Mini to take it out of being a paired device and then hit done. Excuse me if I've got like a really croaky voice at the moment, I've got wicked flu. <laughs> okay, so if I now hit the cog icon, the settings icon for the player, takes me to this window and I'm gonna go through the main ones, the ones that you're probably gonna use. And the first one is renaming because you're going to want to personalize it aren't you so if you hit that it allows you to name it from some selections here or you can use the top window to name the device as to how you want it specifically if we go back the next one that you're probably going to be using is preset content and if we hit that it shows you the lists of presets on the device because they'd be different to the mini as opposed to the Pro Plus. The first four are those that correspond to the buttons on the remote control and then the remaining eight are available at this position in the app. But to actually assign these presets, what you do, if I show you, if you go back and hit the back icon there and then go again back and hit the browse tab bottom left, take you to your music services if I scroll down and go to my one title, hit that, and then my collection at the bottom, and then albums. Say for instance, I want So Many Colours by Jose Padilla to be one of my presets. I hit that as an album, and then these three dots, hit those, and then add to preset at the bottom. And then I can basically add that to any one of the three presets. At the moment, I've got 11 and 12 are free. This is such a useful feature to get your music playing straight away because if you assign it to the first four buttons, you can play from the remote control, just start playing straight away, turn your amp on, or you can just go into this part of the app. But if we go back into the settings for the player and hit the cog icon there and scroll down, the next one that you're probably gonna be using is EQ. So if I hit that, this is the parametric equalizer feature in Weem Streamers, and I've got four presets one is a low shelf, four is a high shelf, and I can adjust the position of this, the cue position, and obviously the game position to adjust sound as I like. I can then save that by hitting the right save box there and set up a custom EQ, a saved named EQ. I'll cancel that. And if I want to reset this slope, I can basically just hit reset. The other feature is the graphic equalizer at the top left. If I hit that, that shows me adjustments at various frequency points. I can adjust them manually or I can go in and set preset graphic equalizer adjustments. So we have various types here, classical dance, deep electronic and so on. Under EQ, the next tab that you're probably gonna be using is audio settings. So if I hit that, it takes me to this page and I can select whether I want fixed volume output or not. Hit this to on if you're using an integrated or a preamp. Turn it off if you're using the Weem device as a preamp and you're using the volume control in the app, the slider volume control that will be under the player window of what you're playing. Remember to set the volume limit because you don't want to max out speakers and you can so easily inadvertently push that slider up too high and damage speakers. I've got mine set on the two volt output, but remember to also level match to your amplifier so you don't get any distortion. There are below that settings for maximum output resolution of the optical output and the coaxial output. If we go back, and go into the audio output tab. That takes us to show what audio output interface we've got selected. So whether using line outs, optical out, coax out, Bluetooth or the AirPlay 2 receiver. And if we go back again and into audio input, this tells us obviously the input source. So whether we're using optical input, the line inputs 
from say the CD player or turntable, whether we're using a Bluetooth input or the ethernet. And there is an auto sensing feature in Weem streamers. So you can actually allow the app to auto sense whether there is an optical in or line in connection and change the input appropriately. Right, so the final tab that you're gonna be looking at is the browse tab. So if I hit that, the first thing as before, as we've talked about preset content, this is available here as well. But if we go back, the first thing that you're probably gonna to wanna to set up after you've done some of these other things I've shown in this video is set your home music share. So this is your NAS drive on a UPnP or DNA network. So hit that. I've got mine set up here, which is my my book live. It's an old Western digital drive I have. So hit that. And then obviously you've got album, artist, track selections, kind of a list format, not particularly intuitive, but decent enough for that purpose. One thing I would say that if you haven't done this for a while, because I had some issues, make sure that you rescan the database of your NAS drive. I hadn't used this Western Digital for some time because I mainly use my Rune server in UOS. So I was wondering why the Weem app couldn't find any music on my Twonky server. It was just because it hadn't been scanned for some time. But if we go back and hit the top left icon and again, if we scroll down, you can see all the music services that are available on the app. Now, obviously, you're not going to use all of these. So what you can do is you go up to the top here and click on manage on the right. You can turn some of these off. So the ones that you're obviously not gonna use or you know, you're not gonna use most of them, obviously. The other thing to say on this screen is at the bottom, you have source selections again, ethernet, Bluetooth, line in or optical. But if we go back to the my library section, this is where the recently played music NAS drive and streaming services tracks will show up all together. So if I hit that, you can see some of these tracks are from Tidal with the Tidal logo. Some of them are from the NAS drive with the NAS logo. You can see the little two bay NAS icon. And going back, my music is where you can actually store NAS drive playlists. So I did, or I started making one and this is basically all music off my NAS drive. There's no streaming service music here as before we showed where you can store those streaming service playlists. But if I go back and back again, favorites is essentially just a list of where you can store a list of tracks that you deem to be your favorites from the main playback screen. So if I go into the main playback screen, hit these three dots on the right there, you can see that I can remove this from my favorites is already a favorite stored track. One last thing that I would like to show you, if I go back to the device list and click on settings, you can actually use Weem streamers essentially like a, an alarm clock playing back favorite content. So if I hit alarm clock and then hit the plus button in the top right, I can set an alarm and then obviously set my my um, preset content. So for instance, if I hit that and I want dial M for monkey from Bonobo to start playing at my alarm time, that's what's then gonna be playing as you see in this screen. This is a neat feature. Essentially, you could have an amplifier that has some form of auto switching on or you just leave your amplifier on. Maybe it's a desk-based type amplifier you're using it in a bedroom or something. You know, an, another neat feature in the feather of the cap of these types of streamers. Anyway, I hope this has given you kind of a flavor of what the Weem home app is about. It wasn't meant to be absolutely inclusive of everything, but just to give you an idea whether it's gonna do what you want and whether you wanna go for one of these devices.